ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਫਰੀਦਾ ਕਾਲੇ ਮੈਂਡੇ ਕਪੜੇ ਕਾਲਾ ਮੈਂਡਾ ਵੇਸ ਗੁਣ ਹੀ ਪਰਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਫਿਰਾ ਲੋਕ ਕਹੈ ਦਰਵੇਸ ਤੂੰ ਦਰਿਆਉ ਦਾਨਾ ਬਿਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਮਛਲੀ ਕੈਸੇ ਅੰਤ ਲਹਾ ਜਹ ਜਹ ਦੇਖਾ ਤਹ ਤਹ ਤੂੰ ਹੈ ਤੁਝ ਤੇ ਨਿਕਸੀ ਫੂਟ ਮਰਾ ਡੰਡੋਤ ਬੰਧਨ ਅਨਕ ਬਾਰ ਸਰਬ ਕਲਾ ਸਮਰਥ ਡੋਲਨ ਤੇਰਾ ਖੋ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇ ਕਰ ਹੱਥ ਡੋਲਨ ਤੇਰਾ ਖੋ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇ ਕਰ ਹੱਥ ਗੱਜ ਵਾਜ ਕੇ ਫਤਿਹ ਦੀ ਸੰਨ ਪਾਓ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸੋ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਸ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਅਸ ਵਿਦ ਦਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਸਿਟ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰੋਧ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਕਰੋਧ ਕਿੱਥੋਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹਾਊ ਡਸ ਇਟ ਇੰਟਰੀਵ ਇਨਟੂ ਆਵਰ ਮਾਈਂਡਸ ਐਟਸੈਟਰਾ ਲੈਟਸ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਕੀਪ ਦਿਸ ਕਨਵਰਸੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨਫੋਰਮਲ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਗਾਇਜ਼ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਫੀਲ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਇਨ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਕੋਈ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਮਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਵੇ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਗਾਇਜ਼ ਹੈਵ ਐਨੀ ਥਾਟ ਅਮ ਔਰ ਐਨੀ ਡਾਊਟ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਆਫ ਯੂਰ ਮਾਈਂਡਸ ਯੂ ਨੈਵਰ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਹੋਲਡ ਅ ਡਾਊਟ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਇਨ ਯੂਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸਪਰੈਸ ਇਟ ਯੂ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਰਿਡ ਆਫ ਡਾਊਟ ਸੋ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਦਾ ਵੈਰੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਐਨੀ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਵਿਕਾਰਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਦੇ ਪਲੇ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਵਿਚ ਵਨ ਇਜ਼ ਐਕਟਿਵ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਚ ਵਨ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਐਕਟਿਵ ਹਾਊ ਡਸ ਵਨ ਕਮ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਪਲੇ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਊ ਡਸ ਵਨ ਲੀਵ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਊ ਕੈਨ ਵੀ ਗੈਟ ਰਿਡ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਵਿਕਾਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਆਰ ਦੇ ਸੋ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਗੱਲ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਮੇਡ ਅਪ ਆਫ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਮੇਡ ਅਪ ਆਫ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਵਨ ਇਜ਼ ਮਨ ਤਨ ਐਂਡ ਆਤਮਾ ਸੋ ਥੀਸ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਮੇਕ ਅਸ ਅਪ ਮੇਕ ਅਪ ਆਰ ਆਈਡੈਂਟਿਟੀ ਮਨ ਤਨ ਆਤਮਾ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਬੋਡੀ ਆਈ ਵੁਡਨਟ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਟ ਆਤਮਾ ਟੂ ਸੋਲ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਟ ਟੂ ਇਟ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਆਫ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਸੋ ਦਾ ਜੋਤ ਆਫ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਮੇਡ ਅਪ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਵਾਟ ਡਸ ਦਾ ਮਨ ਡੂ ਵਾਟ ਡਸ ਦਾ ਬੋਡੀ ਡੂ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਡਸ ਦਾ ਆਤਮਾ ਡੂ ਆਤਮਾ ਡਸਨਟ ਡੂ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਆਤਮਾ ਸ਼ਾਈਨਸ ਦੈਟ ਲਾਈਟ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਮਸ਼ੀਨ ਔਰ ਅ ਕਾਰ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਇਟਸ ਦੀ energy that's running through it's like the electricity like in a building you can turn the light on and everything is working you turn the light off and everything stops working because of the atma your mind is functioning your mind the machine of your mind is working and because your mind is working your physical body is doing karm inside of your mind body how does the vikar is come into play three of the vikars are always present two of the vikars are not always there they have to be awakened krodh and moh have to be awakened kaam lobh and ahankar lust anger sorry lust um greed and ego pride these have to these are always there present when you see a small child come in front of you and you find it cute you say ah and you your your mo your attachment awakens when something happens which doesn't meet your expectation then your crowd awakens your anger awakens they're always present but two of them are always sleeping and not always with us like right now at this very moment I'm not I don't think any of you are surprised looking at me and saying, "Oh, what a cute kid." <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm pretty sure not a lot of you, we're not in mo right now. And hopefully none of us are in crowd as well right now. Right? It's like I took a dumb bike tire. So those two things they have to be awakened. But how do they awaken? 
That's the question. Where does Krodh come from? Calm is always inside of our mind. He kamam nark bisramang bahut joni pramavana. And obviously, he lobba in slok saskriti, Guru Arjun Dev Ji Sache Pacha, they take each of the vikars and they put them right in front of them. Like jidna koi pesh hondaya. He puts each of the vikars in front and he says certain buttons that are to do with each vikar. And when Maharaj speaks to Krodh, they say, He kalmul Krodhang. They're speaking that, hey, Krod, you are the root of all conflict. All conflict, everything that happens in this world, you are the root of it. And wherever you reside, Kadanch meaning Kadevi, Kadanch Karuna meaning Daya, Uparjate meaning Jagana, coming forward. Wherever you come, daya can never come there. You get rid of daya. Compassion. But now let's look at where krodh comes from. We have calm, we have lobe, greed, and we have ankar, which is always present. Always. We could be looking around, we could see a sister's body, and calm is there in our mind. The reason for us even looking could be calm. That calm also translating to calm nama, meaning desires. Any desire that you keep in your mind, your, your mind is always, any action that you do, any speech that you say, any um, thought that comes to your mind, it's coming from some sort of desire. Mahampur Kanevi Apane, they used to, they wrote in their grunts as well, that when, this is just one of the Anpavi Galya, they said when Akalpur created the world, they created man to be perfect. Man did so much bhakti and then he became God. The system was too perfect. In order to create the game, Akalpur put in two things which took them from such the God being and turned them into a devilish being that they became. Two things that the Akalpur put inside of this man, one is desire and one is hunger. Pokhti Trishna. When desire and hunger came into the mind, of a man, now because of his desire, he started doing actions. And to try to, oh, me, me di galagi, me di, me di di galagi. And the other thing is hunger. Now he has to feed himself. So now there's a survival instinct. And that survival instinct is not for somebody else's, again, it's for yourself. So because of these things that are always present, lobe is always present, you're always trying to attain things for yourself. And Ankar is always present. Why? Because you're trying to attain these things for, again, yourself. It's the same sentence that comes again and again. Now, where does Krodh come from? Now, Krodh is the, the cause of all conflict. If it wasn't for Krodh, we would be living in Daya. And here, sorry, it's just a picture of a guy being angry, right? I just thought, you know, Chalapad in Nia. So this is that Shabad and Slok Saskriti. I just put it here just so Sariyande Darshan ho jaan. You are the cause of all. Tu Sariyano vas karke bekhyant jivang vasyang krodh. Sariyano tu vas karke you have controlled everybody. You don't, you don't let anybody out of your, out of your grasp. And jidna ek bandar nachadaya. Somebody plays a flute. Somebody plays kartala or somebody plays a drum and the monkey is always dancing. Just like that, the monkey has no thought for itself. The monkey does not think for itself. Just like that, when you come into somebody's mind, then you take over their body. You take over their mind. The person is not even thinking for themselves. They do actions. Sometimes when we say, oh, sorry, I was too angry. I wasn't thinking for myself at that time. Krodh is such a thing. Where does Krodh come from? It comes from this. We have a desire inside of our mind. Because of this desire, we have expectations. When that desire, jadon kaam di purti nahi hundi. When your kaam meaning kaam nama, or kaam can, you can also translate to lust. Kaam, ankar, lob, any of these three vikaras, when you do not fulfill them, when they're not fulfilled according to yourself, because you have expectations that you want to meet. When they aren't fulfilled, that's when Krodh arises. 
For an example, mo and krod they arise simultaneously. If it's not krod, it's mo. How so? For an example, I'm going to apa sare singete bete. We're all sings. We can discuss this. Let's just say somebody like me, mere man de vich kaam aa jave. So kaam has taken over my mind. And I go to a couple of things. I say, Yar, let's, let's fulfill this desire of calm. Let's get a, let's get a, can you help me get a prostitute? Let's just say, somebody like me has, has that thought in, in their mind. Now the person who helps me fulfill my calm, my calm nama, my desire, I'm going to be like, you help me out. And I will say that this person helped me out. I, this person is on my side. I will actually be fond of that person. Now, let's say I say that to a singh and he goes around saying, Yar, this person is full of calm. Or he says, no, you're wrong. And because my calm, my desire is being blocked, that's when I will get angry at that singh. It's either I'm krodi at that singh or I'm mohit over the singh. Either I'm angry at the person or I'm becoming fond of the person, one or the other. But all of those things, they're only based on what? My ankar. Because my work is not complete. When you start realizing that these calm nama, these vikars are not you, that's when you'll be able to actually challenge them and be able to realize them. So now, where does virag come from? How can you become detached from these vikars? Just slowly, just to go off, uh, just don't think we're going off topic. This is to do with this. Where does Vairag come from? Vairag meaning complete detachment from this world. Vikaran Tobi. Where you can look upon gold and dirt at this, as the same. You can look upon a physical body that's naked. It could be a it's woman's body, it could be a man's body, but no calm is desiring welling up inside of you. How is that so? When you begin to realize the fault between each of the Vikars, this is why discussion, of, uh, discussion on each of the Vikars is very necessary. Because the more you discuss about it, the more you discuss the negativities about it, the more you can actually begin to realize those negativities. How is that? Not just knowing the negativity is like, yeah, okay, it's bad to be angry. It's bad to have calm. It's bad to be lustful. It's bad to be greedyful. But actually realizing the faults and saying that, no, this is so detrimental, so this is so negative for me, How so? One example is somebody doesn't go into somebody's house, breaks into their house and kills everybody and takes all their money. Why? Because the law says there's a mariada in place. The law says you can't break into somebody's house, rape everybody, take all their money and walk out. Why? Because there's a consequence. If you do this, you'll be sent to jail. That becomes a recovered in, in, in our mind. But now, the person that's not doing that just because of the law, if he does not hold any value in the law or he wants to do a langana of the law, the person will go ahead and do it anyways. He does not see the actual fault within that doing that. He just is not doing it because he sees the negative side of the consequence. Is that everybody's for following me so far? Yeah? That's the minu. Now there's another person who actually knows that raping somebody is bad. He knows that morally he knows it's wrong. Somebody knows that, why would I break into somebody else's house? Why would I take their parayatan? Why would I steal their money? It's their or her, her hard-earned money. Why would I take it from them? He knows the fault, but he realizes the fault and no matter, even if it was kulli shutti to do it, he still wouldn't do it. That is realizing the value or realizing the faults within the vakars. That's why Maharaj is explaining, He kal mool krodan kadanch karna na uparjate. They're explaining us the faults wicked within the vikars can okay, realize the faults within this so then no you even if it's kulli shutti to you even if a, you justify it to your mind and somebody else comes to you and says no it's okay even then you won't do it because when you separate yourselves from these five virag agya from the world only then can you start going internally ekunda antishkaran ekunda behkaran Antishkaran is deeper than your own mind. Antishkaran is made up of your avidya, of your, some people call, you can call it karan sri, some people call it ignorance, some people call it avidya or agyan. The fact that you exist, how Pai Saab was speaking, this is, everything comes from that same thing. There are four types of dukh. 
all the other dukhs, they come out from these main four. But even these main four, they're all coming out of the first one. Maharaj and Gurbani, they say, Dukh ek dukh vichoda, ek dukh pukh. Ek dukh sakdwar jamdut. Ek dukh rog lagaitanatai. These are the four dukhs. Very first one is the pain of separation. Second one is the pain of hunger. Third is the pain of the fear of death or the beating of the jamduts. The consequences. And the fourth is the pain of the physical body. On the physical body. All other pains come from this. But these are all caused from what? The ek dukh vichoda, the pain of separation. When you have the pain of separation from Makalpurk, Jadon Avidya Agagi, Jadon Agyan Agya, then all the dukhs exist. Because when there is no you and me, then there is no dukh. There is no dukh, so Khao Pai Sahib was also explaining yesterday. So now when you realize the faults between that, you can start going internal. First, before you realize that, you have to realize this one thing. What are you and how can you separate yourself from the tan? We spoke at the beginning. You are made up of your tan, man, and atma. Tan, body, man, mind, and atma. The prakash of Akalpurk. Atma is Paramatma. There's three states of mind that you eat, all of us go through throughout the day. How is that? One is Jagratavasta. Imagine. Think of it as three separate things. Jagratavasta. You're awake. You're alert. You're listening to me right now. Hopefully. The second is Sopanavasta. You're sleeping, but you're dreaming. Sopanidavich. The third is you're sleeping, but you're not dreaming. It's your dreamless state of mind. Throughout the 24 hours of the day, we go through these states of mind. Either you're awake, you're dreaming and sleeping, or you're sleeping and you're not dreaming at all, which we use, somebody might call deep sleep. But what are you? You are not the mind, you are not awake. You are the person that is knowing you're awake. Because when you are dreaming, you still know you're dreaming. When you are dreaming and when you are sleeping and not dreaming, you still know that I was the one that was not dreaming and I was unconscious. There is something that is still knowing. There is something that is still chetan. Koi chetan sroop hegaya. Everybody following me so far? Chetan, everybody understands? Chetan means, uh, it comes from chintan, knowing, aware, alert. There is something that is knowing. So let's say, here is Jagratavastha. Then there is Sopanavastha. There is something that is knowing you are sleeping. Then comes Sakopatavastha, which is this dreamless state of mind. But there is still something that is knowing this. You can translate, some advanced translate this to being the three states of mind where we call, talk about Tamo, Sato, Raju as well. And when we speak about Chautapad, you become the form where you're aware of each of these, but you're not indulged in any of these. Why? First you move away from this Kamanama, you move away from the Vashnama, and you're connecting to thyself, knowing thyself. When you move from the Behkar, meaning the outside towards the inside, to the realization that the outside is just the illusion coming towards the inside, what you can start beginning to do, is you can start beginning to separate yourself from the body itself. When you separate yourself from the body, the vikars are always going to be heavy on the body. Your eyes, your ears, your hands, they're always eating something. Your body is feeding off of that and your mind is feeding off of that. Your atma does not feed off of that. What you end up doing is you end up forgetting your atma and you end up becoming your mind and your body. Let's say your eyes they look towards something. We're speaking about Kamanama first. Because through the reason why I'm speaking about Kamanama to do with Krod, when you read again and again in Gurbani, Kam Krod Kaya Kugal. Kam Krod Nagar Bohvasya. Again and again, Kam and Krod are always coming together. It comes about Kam and Krod together in Gurbani, it comes about five hundred times. If maybe give or take. I could be wrong. Five hundred times, Kam and Krod. These two words come together inside of Gurbani. 
Now, Kamanama, where is this coming from? You're moving yourself. What are your eyes and ears? They're all your, there's five senses. Shabda Suparsa Ruparas Gandha. Your senses, you're, you're seeing, you're hearing, you're looking, you're touching. With each of these senses, you're eating. How are you eating? With your eyes, you're feeding off of flesh. You're looking at somebody's body. With hands, you're, you could be doing some action, your hands are feeding, you're feeling something. Ears, you're he hearing something. All of this food is, is this fertilization which is your mind. Think of your mind as a seed. The seed has to be taken care of so carefully that anything that goes around it is going to affect it. So what we end up doing, we end up planting the seeds. It goes in one ear, it goes out the other. But a long while it's going through one ear and going out the other, it still affects what's, what's inside of that mind while it's going through. That's why by Gurdashi, all of these, all of the vara that Pai Gurdashti spoke about in Saband of Kaam and Krod, Maharaj Pai Gurdashti is saying that blessed is that Gursik is moving away. What is the daily conduct of the Gursik moving away from these things? You're planting a seed, but you don't realize that the seed that's being planted, that it's going to cause any harm. When you plant a seed, it's underground. You cover it up with soil. Tanu desdani hega. It sprouts, you fertilize it. The seed grows, and when that seed grows, it turns into a sprout. You only recognize it when it turns into a full tree. Now you are okay, you justify, now you know that the vakar is there. You might say, Chalo, I'm angry. Chalo, mere vich kaam hai gaya. I'm doing these actions that are inside of my mind. But the only reason why you would get rid of that tree is when you know it's causing you self-harm. It's always causing you harm, but when you know it's causing you harm in a way where some other calm nama or some other desire of yours is not being met, then you want to get rid of it. We only go to the Guru, get rid of this. Other than that, we would never go to our Guru. Only we go to our Guru, this tree has grown so big, I can't get rid of it. I don't have the strength to get rid of it. Maharaj, this, the roots are so deep that it's the pipelines that are underneath is causing harm to them. So now, I have to pay the bills for that. My other desire, my other desire for money, it's not being met, so I have to get rid of this tree now. Only because something else is not being met, I have to get rid of this desire. So then we go to the Guru, ke sache paacha, get rid of it. Fir bhi meri meri karke hiya. Jidna hama Pai Sahib's talk this morning, mo vasi, why was it? Sab meri meri karke hiya. This tree, the roots are deep. Now you try cutting down the tree. Very difficult. The tree is still, the stub is still, the, the roots are still there. You try digging it deep. It's causing pain and it's causing harm around. It's causing difficulty around the situation. Now the tree grows back again. You still haven't gotten rid of it. Why don't you just not let the seeds get planted? It's so subtle. By Sache Pacha and Bani, they even speak to about what should you listen to, what shouldn't you listen to? Mere Mohan Sravani Ehna Sunai Saak the Geet Naad Ton Gavad Bolad Bola Jai That, oh my beloved mind, don't listen to these types of things, even faithless Nastak songs, even the tune of them, even the vibration of them, even the, just the words of them. Isa Bol Bol Kid, everything will go away. Nothing is true, nothing is there to stay. Don't plant those seeds. Your eyes, it's very, very subtle, Pyaryo. Even though chalo, I'm going slightly leading towards calm, nama and calm now, I'm not going to get into too much of it now, but there's seven types of calm as well. Now we think calm, lust, desire only comes when we physically do an action. Where does the seed get planted? Why does Maharaj and Gurubani they say Parte Rupana Pekha Nitar, Pekha Mini Dekhana, Pray Istariwal Takana Takani? Because when you look, when you say I'm just looking for a partner, but guess what? You're looking. Parte Rupana Pekha Nitar. That's why Maharaj and Apane Gurmat, which they give a Maryada for everything. Even though sometimes Apane Varge, we might think, Yara, you can't be too much into Maryada. You can't be so strict with it, with it because it doesn't make sense to us. 
We say, how can we have fear and love and such abundance? But such, what, uh, when I was very young, a mom put explained this to me in such a beautiful way. They say a river is flowing down. The water only merges with the ocean if it stays between the two edges of the river. There is always pain and pleasure which are trying to pull it away. Kam nama, desire. And dok and sok. The sun is shining. And the drops of water that get separated from the river, they evaporate in dok. If they hit the rock, they, cause, they get caused in pain. They land on top of the rock or they go outside of the two edges of that river. What happens? They get evaporated in dok. Or that drop of water, it goes and it dissolves inside of the ocean. Or sorry, the the dirt, the soil, and it gets dissolved in its own sukh, pain and pleasure. It's being pulled away from its marag. If it stays within these two edges of the river, it can go eventually, slowly, slowly, it'll eventually merge into the ocean. Where it'll, have, it'll have no ups and downs. On one side, you're holding onto the hand of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Satche Paatsha. On the other hand, you're holding onto the hands of Tan Tan Shri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Satche Paatsha. If you stay within that kasvati, inside of that pair and you try to understand inside of these vikars kinna fault when you understand the fault you can move away from it but a child doesn't understand that a child will want to put their hand inside of the mouth of a tiger be like let's see let's see what happens it's the mother's responsibility to say no if you put your hand inside of the mouth of this lion the lion will bite but what does the child say? Let me try it out for myself and find out. Right? So they, the, ch the child is trying, the child only realizes why? When the tree is growing so much and it's causing themselves pain now. We say, If it's not because of dukh, if we're actually enjoying and we're indulging in it, then we say, We might even do ardas, Maharaj, give us more of that. Deeply, it, those seeds get planted inside of our mind. We get indulged inside of that. Okay, I'm not going to go too much. I briefly went over the seven types of calm. It starts off, starts off from sarvan. That's why I spoke about ki sunna chayda. Calm comes into our, mi into our life, into, 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 inside of our mind, two ways. Ears and eyes. Ears when we listen to those types of vichars. And eyes when we look upon those types of things. I've even... It's heartbreaking to see this. I've even seen like walking by, not at this camp, I've seen things sitting in each other. And you know when and somebody who's lost is trying to lead somebody else who's lost? Things sitting down together and having a conversation justifying to each other that watching pornography is okay. Right? So not realizing, you know, you justify, you know, it's medically it's okay cleanses the body, gets rid of stress, etc. But you're just looking upon your body, Maharaj. Kinde, pilna sarvan, chitvan, baat leads to all of these kirtan. Oh, just then you start doing kirtan of that istri. You start doing uh, simran of that istri. You start wanting to, baat you start wanting to have a, a conversation aside. We justify, you know, I'm only talking to Penji. Right? Texting, I'm only talking to Penji. But first a seed is planted, you hear or you see something, then you start dwelling upon it. That turns into a desire. When that turns into a desire, you want to meet that desire. When that desire is not met, growth comes. When growth comes into your mind, buddhi naas ho jandi hai. buddhi naas ho jandi hai, sari zindagi naas ho jandi hai. Let me translate that to English. When you plant a seed inside of your mind, you start thinking about it, you start dwelling upon it. That turns into a desire. When you want to meet that desire and that desire is not met, then you get angry. When anger arises inside of your life, inside of your mind, your intellect or your mind, it's destroyed. And when your mind is destroyed, when you, your mind is the one that's supposed to be doing simran of akalpurks, doing simran of akal, uh, or doing seva of sadhus, doing kirtan, reading gurbani, when your mind is supposed to be connecting to for yourself, Let's say, for example, my identity is Somebody gets up and says, everything that you say, Sara Chutia. Right? So it would be like, that's my identity. That would be that would not make me meet my expectation. 
भाई दैट माइंड थर्ड लाइफ रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड दीज बिचारा से कोई से किसी ने आ गया आके कह देता ये सारा झूठ है तू सारा गलतियां अंदरों क्रोध आ गया सी हाउ आई मीन यू कुड वी कुड बट वी डू फेक ऑल द टाइम वी से दास मैंने माना मैं गरीब पर समबडी आके हां हां सानू पता तू किदन दा हैगा चल पा जा इथो इट्स लाइक ओ तू कौन होंदा मेनू कहने वाला राइट द क्रोध कम्स व्हाई बिकॉज़ वी एक्सपेक्ट व्हेन वी से दास वी एक्सपेक्ट समबडी से यार बड़ा नमाना है दैट्स आवर एक्सपेक्टेशन but when the expectation again is not met krodh aa gaya it's some desire in a very deeply deeply rooted inside of our mind kar kal 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 wali kaam mad manua piyavan har krodh kadori moh pri pilava ahankar an analogy that sachche pacha uses how all three of these they're connected shuru kithon hunda again we're just speaking about the beginning of it think of anger as the cup ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੋਹ ਪਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਆ ਮੋਹ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਵਸਤੂ ਦੈਟ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਇਰ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਪਰਸਨ ਦੈਟਸ ਡਰਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਅਹੰਕਾਰ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਥਿੰਗ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਮੋਹ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਇਰ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਰੀਚਿੰਗ ਆਊਟ ਟੂ ਯਰ ਅਟੈਚਮੈਂਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਮੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਬ੍ਰੋਕਨ ਫਰਮ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਅ ਬ੍ਰੋਕਨ ਹਾਰਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਅ ਕਰੋਦੀ ਹਾਰਟ ਵੈਨ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਬ੍ਰੋਕਨ ਦੈਨ ਯੂਰ ਐਂਗਰ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂਰ ਐਂਗਰ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਲਿੰਗ ਅਪ so the person that's actually drinking all of this is the ankar ankar is the one that has the kamnama all of these are linked together up we can again we try to separate each of them the reason why i wanted to bring all of them together and trying to discuss it in this way uh, so we can understand which how one is linked to the other kaam de vichon krodh aunda kaam de vichon moh aunda ya when moh is not met krodh arises when lobe is not met krodh arises when krodh arises then our life is terminated right khair jehdi eh cheez ya krodh di the reason appa main var var pangtiyan i'm putting on top right bichara we can listen to but everything is when is redirected back to gurbani i want to bring it back to that same theme that we had gurbani sun mail gawai ਸਾਜੇ ਹਰ ਨਾਮ ਮਨ ਵਸਾਇ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਲ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨਡ ਯਸਟਰਡੇ ਬ੍ਰੀਫਲੀ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਥਰੂ ਅ ਲੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਔਰੇਂਜ ਟਿੰਟਡ ਗਲਾਸਸ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਸੀਮਸ ਔਰੇਂਜ ਆਈ ਕੁਡ ਬੀ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਥਰੂ ਬਲੂ ਟਿੰਟਡ ਗਲਾਸਸ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਸੀਮਸ ਬਲੂ ਨੋ ਮੈਟਰ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਇਟ ਸਟਿਲ ਥਰੂ ਥੈਟ ਲੈਂਸ ਡੋਨਟ ਟੇਕ ਥਿਸ ਦ ਰੋਂਗ ਵੇ ਬਟ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਵੀ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਆ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਕਦੇ ਮੈਲਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਟ ਦ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਥੈਟਸ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਦ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਮਨ ਮੈਲਾ ਆ ਵਾਈ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਹੀ ਸਟਿਲ ਗੁੱਡ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਉਹਨੇ ਉਹ ਮੈਲ ਦੂਰ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਹਿਸ ਇੰਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਫॉर ਡੂਇੰਗ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਇਟ ਕੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੋਹਣੀ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਮੇਰੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਣ ਕੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਮੋਹਿਤ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਮੈਲ ਹਿਸ ਇੰਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਓ ਮੈਲਾ ਹੀ ਕੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਪਲੇਇੰਗ ਤਬਲਾ ਹੀ ਕੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਕਥਾ ਮੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਸੋ wowed by this gyan that somebody says wow he's great wo katha meli hogi somebody could be doing seva koi mainu dekhe main jodyan di seva karda that's it meli ho gaya the action the karma has become meli now mel is such a thing that it can take the roop of anything such as what makes up a clay pot anybody want to answer mitti it's made up of mitti mitti is known to be dirty but within that clay pot we put clean water but what is that thing that's making up that pot it's the mal now what are we we are made up of mal what is our mind it's made up of mitti it is mitti but it's taken the form of that kata is the taken the form of that clay pot there are two things now one is called kata akash one is called mahakash just keep these terms in mind there's a clay pot inside what is inside that clay pot no the, we haven't put water yet there's space <laughs> there's space hawaya there's akash now what is outside akash what is akash it's just space it's empty space Now imagine there's that building right there same analogy 
there's a building. Inside, there's empty space. empty space. Outside, there's? What's the difference between the empty space? It's just, it's just that there's something that's there that's giving an identity to the empty space on the inside, to the empty space, to the outside. There's no, the, the empty space on the inside is going and mixing in with the empty space on the outside. It's, there's, there's nothing blocking it. But it's just that it has a name now. Kata Akash, the space that's on the inside. Maha Akash, the Akash that's on the outside. The air and space that's on the outside. Now what is this thing that's keeping the, uh, uh, the thing that's on the inside, this identity? It's that Kata. The thing that's holding it together. But what is it made up of? Mal. It's made up of, made up of Mitti. So your entire mind itself is made up of Mal. Anything that you do according to your mind, according to your math, is going to be Mela. The only way to get rid of it is Gurbani, Sona Mela Gavai. When you start feeding that into your mind, you can start scrubbing away that dirt. Now, Ejadi Tijia Premdi. Prem is such a thing, it can burn those things. Why? Why? Why can love burn away those things? Because in love, you're not putting yourself first. You're always putting your, you're putting the other person in front. But the one ne prem devi arth kiti. They split prem into two things. Pare me. Jodo me pare ho jindi othe prem ya. Jithe me ya othe prem ho hi nahi sakda. Where there's me, there's no such thing as prem. For those of you that are in relationships and trying to get into relationships. There's a, a funny analogy my older brother used to use. He says there's something called understanding. You have to stand under the prison. Right? Then that can't be prem. Why? A lot of times we go into relationships expecting sukh. Mere vaste. We go into a relationship uh, or we look towards marriage or something, a desire. I'm speaking about kam nama, a desire. And we go there trying to find something for ourselves, expecting something for ourselves. This is why a lot of relationships don't work out. You go into a relationship, whether it's in Mariada or you do it outside of Mariada. You go into expecting something. In, re in that relationship, you realize that marriage is not what you expected. And when your expectation is not met, Kroda gaya. Now when Krod Agya, relationships, when Krod is inside of a relationship, then it's all about me. And the relationship is going to break. The only way to make in a relationship work, With what's the relationship between you and the Guru? Soul bride, husband, husband, Lord, same thing. It's about contentment where you have no desire, where you're not wanting anything. I could be asking for anything, but Maharaj, I only ask for you. There's no me inside of that equation. What is the Hukum Nama? I'm going to connect this to the Hukum Nama that we had this morning. They're having a conversation with the Kalpurk. Pram Pram Ay Tumche Dwara. Then they're having this conversation. I've come to your door, Sache Pacha. I knock on your door, and on the inside of that door, there's a sound. I come to your door, I come to your dar. I knock on your door, and somebody speaks. You speak from the inside. Tu pochreya, tu konre, tu konya, konaya. And Pagat Nam Devji says, "Me, me ji, me aya aya yar. Tenu pata nahi me konya. Me aya. Akal Prakash from the inside, he recognizes the voice. Why? Because he's jan pachanya." He says, Nama. Nam Devji standing on the, on the outside says, Hanji, Hoji. Akalpur says, What are you here for? Allah te nevarna jam karna. Let me give an analogy to that. Let's say you come home from work. You open the door, your mom is upstairs. Mataji Upparya. You walk in, your mom hears the front door opening. And she says, Korn aya? Harman Singh aya ke Harveer Singh aya shayad dopra hoon. Harman Singh aya ke Harveer Singh aya. 
Maybe she doesn't know. Maybe it's her husband. Maybe it's somebody else. Maybe it's the grandfather of the house. She doesn't know. She just hears the door closing. Kendi korn aya. Mere yaar ga ja ke kenda. I don't say, Pai sa pai harman singh kalkri wale aage han. Right? We don't say that. Why? Because we're home. We say, Mai ya. Mai aagya. And the mom recognized this from the voice. Ke nahi nahi. If dad da ji ne harman singh aya. Why? Because prem hai ga. And now, Maybe mine and my brother's voices, we sound very similar. Maybe even the mother needs a little bit of clarification, or maybe she's just making sure. I say, Harmonia? And I say, Hanji, I'm here. Tu kun re, manji, nama, hoji. Allah tin nivarna, jam karna. Get rid of this noose of death. Make sure I never have to go into this world again. Get rid of all of these vashna, get rid of my mind, and get rid of the, this fear of death so I can become this when, when I love death. I can love Kaal. When I love Kaal, I can love a Kaal. I can become a Kaal. Right. Coming back to Kamanama, coming back to our desires, what is Mal? Mal Mal is our mind. The thing that we exist in Malia, sub Malia. Our actions that we do, when we do it based on ourselves, oh, oh Malia. Whether it's good karms, chenge karm ya hai, Malia karm. Based on ourselves. Jithe, I'm going to say this again. Jithe kaam di poorti nahi hundi, othe krod upajdaya. That's where krod arises. Now how to get rid of this krod? Recognizing krod, how to get rid of this krod. Sorry, let me just check how much time I have left. Kari bina, akal di yung lang karde karde kaal bare pal jayda. If you want to get rid of your desires, Man nima karke, you go into a sadhu di sangat, sad sangat vich jake. When you start, again, coming back to connecting to that same thing, when you start realizing the faults between that, then you want to chase something else. You have this as, you have this desire, because we have a hole to fill, fill within ourselves. Main prab milan ki prem man asa, main man vaddi as hare, kyon kar darshan paama. All these as, jiri as, de pe as di gal ki ti ya maraj ne, baani de vich. When you have aas and payas together, aas e vichalo vidwana ne arth kite. What is payas? Payari di aas. That is what payas. Jin ko lagi payas, mert sehi kai. They get that true nectar. On ona de vichhe krod kathori moh pari pilava ankar. It's not the moh under jadi vastu moh di ni hagi. O kedi chijya o amrit naal par gaya. So you fill it with amrit. You fill it. What is amrit? Just look at the literal definition. Mriti o tu rehat. When you think of death, through death, can you realize that Then you realize that I'm not this body. Where, what, what makes up our identity? Tan, man, atma. Coming back to the same thing. Man, tan, atma. Your tan is not going to be here. Your man is not going to be here. What is going to stay your atma? What is your atma? All the Vashnama is on your body. Until your body is here, these Vashnama, these Vikars will always be there. But it's how you redirect them. If you take this energy, yes, to see apne manu ka svatti vich rakhna mananu. But this energy that you have, jidi shakti ya, you need to redirect it in one way or the other. If you send this energy downwards, it turns into calm. You turn this energy upwards, it turns into man. Ankara Janda. But now you can switch the man into what? Naam. Spelt backwards, Homme. Nava and Nal Viroda had doi Nava Sekhtai. Naam and Homme, they cannot be together. Why? Because Homme and Naam did the exact opposite. If you're living in Homme, you can't be living in Naam. If you're living in Naam, you can't have Homme. One or the other. Opposite polarities. Naam spelt backwards equals man. That's just a play on words as well. Anna? You end the send the energy downwards, turns into calm. That calm is not met, turns into karod. Coming back to the same thing. Everything is downwards. Energy is being sent downwards. What Sangat should you be doing? When you go into Sangat, when you go into a Sadhudi Sangat, you can take your mind in the practical, physical thought. You see, you can do your own ankar. Why? Because you recognize that you don't want to go to me. If you don't want to go to me, then you start falling into a kasvati. Kota kota man, kasvati love. 
ਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਨ ਨੂੰ ਕੁੱਟ ਕੁੱਟ ਕੇ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਫੋਰ ਇਟ ਔਨ ਦ ਪਾਥ ਹਾਊ ਲੈਟਸ ਸੇ ਮੱਜਾਂ ਚਾਰਨ ਵਾਲਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਸੀਨ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਵੈਨ ਕਾਊਜ਼ ਆਰ ਕ੍ਰਾਸਿੰਗ ਦ ਰੋਡ ਦੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਜਸਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਦ ਰੋਡ ਦੇ ਟੇਕ ਓਵਰ ਦ ਐਂਟਾਇਰ ਰੋਡ ਐਂਡ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਮਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਆਫ ਕਾਊਜ਼ ਆਰ ਸ਼ੀਪ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਵੈਨ ਦ ਕਾਊ ਗੋਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਪਾਥ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਈਟਿੰਗ ਦ ਗ੍ਰਾਸ ਦ ਸ਼ੈਪਰਡ ਬੀਟਸ ਦ ਕਾਊ ਬੀਟਸ ਦ ਕਾਊ ਸੇਸ ਲੈਟਸ ਗੈਟ ਬੈਕ ਔਨ ਔਨ ਟ੍ਰੈਕ ਥੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਟੂ ਯਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ redirect the energies understand the shakti but man nu kasvatti de vich launa when you go into the sadhu di sangat pehli gal eh a the i was speaking about pata nahi kehde pai sahab de naal eh vichar karde si ge na pai sahab de naal gal karde si there are three types of gurus ten prakar de guru ne this is not equivalent to sabte vadda sat guru nanak oh saryan to upar ya sabte vadda sat guru nanak jin kal rakhi meri three types of gurus jena nu apan sir dena ya how to teach our mind to go nima first of all is ma pyo mata pita they are first teachers first gurus we have in life they teach us how to walk eat talk everything then we have ishta guru you can give loyalty to your guru but can you even give it to your istri can you give it to your spouse and then can you say sat bachan to an ustad a vidya guru when a vidya guru is teaching you something will you question that will you do seva of your gurpai who's teaching you something you will do seva of each of three of these mata pita ishta guru vidya guru then you will be able to realize asal de vich mata pita da kehna ke main manna ishta di ishta de naal prem kidda karna vidya guru di kehna kidda manna how will you follow each of their sayings when you go to sabte vadda sat guru nanak you apply the same things there and othe thoda udhar hona hai othe jadon when you if you go to the guru in our mind eh apni buddhi ethe tak ya somebody like me guru sahib says something we say cool we walk out with it that was interesting that oh that was a cool shabad why because the guru sahib is we think the guru sahib is not going to get up and slap us why because it's not something physical we attach ourselves to the physical but if we want to understand what is sukham we have to learn through the physical that's why physically the question was why do we physically do chore sahib why do we physically matha take why do we physically wear barna and go into the darbar it's not because of the guru apne karke ya to teach our, ourselves that kesal de vich how to do seva man apa niwa kar kime karna when you go into that sad sangat where thoda man niwa ho janda apne aap ankar di your ankar the person that's drinking that kamnama he goes down and now when that person that desire goes down guess what when you have less expectations when you have no desire and you accept paana ithe paane di gal aa jandi hai when you have no expectations and you have no desire and you're accepting everything into the hukum apne man vaste this is the question that a lot of people were speaking about yesterday free will or destiny until we are inside of our mind we think we are doing something that's why mara is speaking to you that you if you think you are doing something at least do something good but when you realize for even for that brahm gyani sorry pai sahab i'll get to you in one second you know when you realize that that realization asal de jehdi nikki nikki cheezan jehda saa le reha i'm not doing that either oh brahm gyan di avastha na agyan di avastha we try to speak in brahm gyan while we are living in agyan we have to understand ki oh jehdi avastha kehdi cheez ya what is the difference between a brahm gyani and an agyani let's speak about kamana ma desires where do they feel that anant from there is a brahm gyani and an agyani so somebody who has understood brahm understand how the world works and who is living that state of mind where their mind is not there anymore but the physical body is still there brahm gyani ki gat brahm gyani jana only the brahm gyanis will understand each other just like how i think i think by sub you were speaking about it jithe one person eats good the other person eats good and the person the, who has tasted that same taste he just looks at him and he smiles and he understands that same feeling kyunki why brahm gyani ki gat brahm gyani jane who understands that supreme anand oh di gat ohi jaan sakda ya jaise gunge ki mathiyai now what is the difference between a gyani and a brahm gyani a gyani he goes and he has a desire to eat something an example everybody following me right yeah he has a desire to go and eat something he's hungry 
He goes to a restaurant, orders food, eats that food, says, ah ha ananda agya. Why? Because he's fulfilled his desire. Brahmgyani does the, ex let's say, say he does the exact same thing. He goes, he wants to eat something, he orders something, he eats that food, and he says, ah ha ha, ananda agya. But what is the difference? They, the realization, where is the ananda coming from? The Anand, for the Agyani, he thinks it's coming from the actual Vastu. I've acquired what I was desiring for, I've got an Anand. What is the Brahmagyani saying? He's eating that food, but he knows when my mind was desiring something, until my mind was going out looking for something, it was trying to find something. When I found what I was looking for, let's just say somebody is in that room and they have all the blinds closed and just in the creak of the blinds a little bit of sunlight comes in and they, thunk, they experience a little bit of ray of the light. They won't fully experience it until they break all the doors of the house. They walk out of that door and they actually look and experience the sun for themselves. But even a little bit of light is coming in because you find that little bit of anand and he thinks that anand is coming from the food. Brahmgyan, he realizes it's not coming from that, it's coming from himself. Because it's coming from the true Atma, he says, Vava Ananda Agya. So now for that Brahmgyan, it doesn't matter what he eats. He could eat, he could not eat. He could be eating the same things, he could not be eating any of the same things. But that's an avasta we can't understand. Because the Ananda is coming from somewhere else. It's not coming from the physical, it's not coming from the actual Vastu. If Sukh actually came from marriage, then wouldn't a husband and a wife be sticking to each other all day long? Right? It's, it's a question that we have in our mind. I'm not married yet, but my el elder brothers, they tell me, they say that it, it doesn't come because the reality of marriage, you go into a room and you say, Tu udar pe me idar pe don't come near me. That's the reality that they say to me. Because that's not where Anand comes from. That's not where Sukh comes from. Coming back to the state of the Agyani and Abramgyani. Kamanama and Krod. Where is that Anand coming from? When you go into the Guru Sharan, you can lower yourself. When you can lower yourself and when you can physically start doing that Seva, you can start f focusing on your practical organs. At least cut to cut nimrata ta ajave, cut to cut. When you have nimrata, thode chalo bol bhi mithe ho jandeya. You can start looking towards others, you can start seeing this. What is Gurbani? Gurbani is giving you step by step instructions how to reach that Brahm. Understand this step by step. Pilla to see, understand this. He did a dusraya, ode veche, koi hor ni vasraya, mei vasraya. Within that person that I'm looking towards, not different identity, it's my identity. What, when there's 50 beads of mala, even if there's 108 of us here today, but there's only one Thagga that's running through each and every single one of them. That is what the Atma is. The rest of it is just man and tan. That's just the identity here. When the identity is not met, when the desire for that identity is not met, othon karod opajda. How can you get rid of it? You go into Sadhu Di Sangha, then you get rid of this identity first. Get rid of this desire of yours. How does that come? Jisi Gurbani di sikhe alao, man ki mat tiyagu harjan, iha baat kathani, an din har har naam tiyavu gur sat gur ki mat lani. Coming back to our theme, Gurbani sun, mail gawai. Through Gurbani, Gurbani di sikhe alao ke again and again, again like, apa kini vichar kar sakadeya, but it's a step-by-step -step process which you can take Gurbani implemented into your life. You can become Gurbani, get rid of your desires. When you get rid of your desires, you get rid of your rid of your vashna. When you get rid of your vashna, holy holy, in the same way, it gets rid of all the mal. Now, there's physical mal and mandi mal. Two things. Pani cleans the physical mal. Bani cleans mandi mal. What is the, there's, a, there's similar but there's a difference as well. 
पानी क्लीन योर बॉडी इट टेक्स द मैल अपॉन इट सेल्फ इसे पानी मैला हो गया बाणी कदे भी मैली नहीं होंदी पानी गेट्स मैला टेक्स योर मैल अवे एंड गोस ऑन इट्स वे एंड क्लीव्स यू क्लीन बाणी गोस इनटू योर माइंड इट गेट्स रिड ऑफ द मैल एंड इट इट सेल्फ सिट्स इनसाइड ऑफ योर माइंड इट इट बिकम्स योर माइंड इट सेल्फ गुरुज मत सो नाउ बाणी दे विच किन्नी किन्नी विचार हुंदी या कि साधुओं की संगत में जा करके यू कैन गेट रिड ऑफ योर काम एंड क्रोध एंड लोभ दीज थ्री थिंग्स खास करके काम क्रोध लोभ आई दे दे स्पेसिफाई दीज थ्री थिंग्स ते ए जड़ियां चीजें अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू कम बैक टू द सेम थिंग लोभ एंड क्रोध आर नॉट ऑलवेज देयर देयर ओनली देयर दीज टू थिंग्स डिस्ट्रॉय योर लाइफ बिकॉज़ कामनामा इज देयर those two things they awaken but you can shut them off if you can shut off kamanama in sadhu di sangat you can get rid of that and here again maharaj is saying teri mehma tu hai jana apna aap tu aap pehchane hau balhari santan tere jin kaam krodh lo pitha jiyo o savastha de vich ja ke then koi vair nahi vi nahi hunda you have no when we speak about the avastha of nirvair or nirpau ha nirvair nirpau ta ya You can only have vair conflict if there is two. Right? You can only have conflict when two. When there only is only ek paramatma reh gaya, then there's nothing left. Then there's no vair left. You can only be fearful of what the unknown, fearful of something else. When you have complete prakash gyan, when you have that brahm avastha, when you understand everything through the guru, then there's no fear. All fear is dispelled. And when you, there is no realize, when there is no uh understanding that there is two there is is only one then okay then there's no fear left then all pay is uh, dispelled as well i'm going to say one small little story here before i end there was a king who used to listen to katha from a pandit every single day how is crowd such a thing that's like a chadel it's like a chandal it's like a demon that comes into your mind and takes over your mind you don't think for yourself this king is sitting there he listens to katha every day from a pandit one day the pandit goes and does tries to do katha but the king is sitting there samadhi vich he has his eyes closed manik agar karke baitha hai the pandit goes and he sits there and he's waiting for the king to open his eyes so he can do katha the king doesn't open his eyes the pandit gets very angry that this person he did not respect me because whenever the pandit walks in the king used to always get up and give him satkar why because he's the one that is going to be teaching him about that vidya he walks in today the king doesn't get up onu gussa chad gaya why because he had an expectation again ki meri a uh, respect hogi par meri respect nahi kiti inna ne again he got angry he goes and he leaves king opens his eyes and says why didn't the pandit come and do katha today and he says the all the people that were there inside of the court they say the pandit did come to see samadhi samadhi lean son you were inside of samadhi you had your eyes closed he sat down he got angry and he left and then he sent a messenger to go and grab the pandit pandit nu bhejya pandit says no i'm angry now i'm not going to i'm not going to come and come and do katha he sent somebody else the king himself goes and knocks on the door and he says pandit ji aake i've come for you now can you come and can you do katha please par o man teet ho gaya why kyunki the expectation was not met hon ukrod vich he sitting inside of his house now there's somebody an amli ja pangi ja banda aa gaya ek he comes into the king's court to say maharaj you see mainu give me aa gaya if you allow me let me go and try to get him back the king says he's not listen to me why would he listen to a pangi person like you a drug addict like you and he says don't worry i've got a trick up my sli- up, up my sleeve that amli that sorry that pangi goes to the pandit's house he goes and knocks out on the door and he says sheti sheti bahar aao sheti sheti bahar aao and he calls out to him the pandit says who are you tu kon aa gaya and the pangi says to him he says that you've locked up you've locked up my brother on the inside you see menu mere bhra nu fadke baithe ha 
Why are you holding, on, holding my brother captive? He says, I'm not holding your brother captive. He says, yeah, you are. Stop lying. He says, no, you're the one that's lying. He starts gathering everybody. And he says, what brother have I held captive of yours? He's like, you're a tindal. You've you become a demon. You've become a preet. Uh, you've become like, what is the English word for preet? I can't think of it right now. You're uh, the, the demonic spirit. It's come and you, you've, you're, you're ruining my ekagata. You've become a demon. And he says, no, 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 you're holding on to a demon of, of you're my, if I'm a demon, you're holding on to my brother. What is that demon? That was the demon of Krodh. Pandit realizes this and he's, the, the Pangi says, is saying that you were doing katha of this the, the other day as well. That you were doing katha, that Krodh is a chandal. Krodh thonu kar And now, that brother, you calling me and Jindal, then the person that's holding you captive inside of your house, what is that house? Nijkar, inside of your mind. The house of your own mind, you take this krod, you let it control your entire mind, it does not let you do anything. Because what does your mind control? It controls your body. That pandit then, he accepts and he goes and does katha. There's another example of how when you realize that there's something more powerful than you, then you can start getting rid of your Kamnaba and your Krod. Bhai Gurdashti speaks about this. Ambrik Pagat Moh Bharat hai, Raat Pai Durbasha Aya. This is from the 10th Vara Pai Gurdashti. I believe it's the 4th party, just saying. There's a Pagat Ambrik who was a king. He was very Tyagi. He went, I'm going to just say this, say this in a short form. He was very tyagi and he wanted to do sadhu on the Sangat. Every Dwadashi, which is the second turn in the lunar uh, calendar, he would say he would want to hold a vart, meaning he would fast. And he would fast all day, and then when he would want to break his fast, he would feed food to all the sadhus in his kingdom, and then he would go and eat. Himself. That was his sort of sadhu, he, that was his sort of seva, his sort of tapasya, and his sort of sadhana in some way. Now, while he's doing this, he's going and he's feeding the sadhus on his way back to go and break his fast. There's Rikhi Durbasha. This Rishi, whose name was Durbasha, he was known to be very angry. Krodovasvich, Vayankari Bothundasi, he was the most powerful as well. That power himself took over his mind. When you have taan, taan means power, you want to be iana, you want to act as if you have no power. When you have maan, you want to act as if you have no pride, you have, you have no say in the world, that you have no pride, that you have no power inside of people. Riki Durbasha comes and he says that I want to eat as well. So what does that Ambri Pagadu, he falls at his feet, does his seva, and says that, why don't you come? I want to feed you as well. Why? Because he was scared of sharaf. He would curse people on every small things. He would look for small faults within people and he would just give them sharaf. And now, what happened is he's saying that I will eat as well, but first I want to go to the Jamuna River. I want to go and I want to do Ishnan and then I'll come and eat. So he goes, uh, the Pagat, he goes and Gets, gets all the food ready. The Riki Durbasha goes and purposely wastes time. He sits there and starts doing his own sadhana, starts doing his own yoga, starts doing etc, etc. Wasting time. Now on this side, the sun is about to rise. He has to break his fast before the sun rises based on his whatever miryada jadi onadi sigi. He has to break his fast before the sun rises or he has to, what's it called, break the button that he didn't feed all the sadhus. So it's, he's stuck in this situation. One side is one is pulling, on the other side is one pulling. Vichara, he's stuck. On this side, using that power, using his, his uh, prabhav, he's holding on to this so he can hold a sharaf, so he can do something. He's holding on to power. Power is giving him anger. He's saying that I'm the most powerful. I need to prove myself the most powerful. This is my expectation. If that is not bad, kroda uga. He goes and then what the other sadhus say that we will give you charna amrit, 
you would take the wash all the feet of the sadhus you can save your vart you can drink the water and you cannot break the button because you didn't eat anything yet either because he has to still come and eat when Riki Durbasha hears about this he comes he gets very angry long story short gives them a shraf etc when the shraf is given all of this kind of stuff he the Ambrik Pagat starts doing ardas right away ke minnu maaf kar do Ambrik Pagat is very namara two things that are colliding on each other sides he's saying ardas that Maharaj I've made a mistake. Just say, "Minnu maaf kar do." Riki Durbasha is saying that, "No, I will kill you. Why are you not accepting this?" So he again, "Chalo, jidna prasang onda." Whatever the history is, he starts using jidna vijidhi bhi odi yoga ki shakti sigi, and he tries to bring upon spirits and he tries to kill Amrik Pagat. Now, othe we read in Bani, "Har jog jog pagat do paya paya jarakda aya Rama Raji Akal Purk themselves kam othe orna di purti ki thi. Take kill the kill the demon, and then othe." Krishna da Sudarshan Chakkar jeda siga. The Sudarshan Chakkar just take the gun out of this. Krishna's Chakkar comes and chases Riki Durbasha oda ankar ke me tutteya. Riki Durbasha is running. He knows that he he has no power to stand in front of the Shakti of Akalpurk. When he realizes that there that there is something bigger than him. He is running, he goes and asks for help, he goes to Devlok. He goes to Brahmapuri, Shivpuri, Indrapuri. Sariyan paas ne jaake everybody turned their head saying that Akal Pur ka ge asi kuch nahi hai. We can't help you why? Because you are holding on to which adke phade aaya. You're holding on to yourself so hard until you let go of yourself, you can't let go of your krodh. Until you let go of your desire, you cannot let go of yourself. He is running. Eventually he comes and then jado unhe ardar uthe jaake unhi di salaa lai but de sadhu andi. Sadhus tell him. That there's only one way that you can be saved from this if you fall at the feet of Ambrik Pagat, fall at the feet of that humble king, and ask for mafi because within him, within him, within him, God resides. Even we read in Gurbani, Gur Sikha Andar Sat Gur Varta. That through the Gur Sikhs, if we can fall at the feet of the Gur Sikh, othe bhi apna ankar dekh sakta. We do seva of each other. We do seva of the sadhus inside of the sad sangat. Othe apne man deveche. जो निम्रता आनी है जो क्रोध वास करना है सब कुछ उठे आ सकता जस्ट लाइक वी रीड इन आवर हिस्ट्री नवाब कुकूर सिंह व्हाई वर दे हेल्ड एट द टॉप उन्होंने इन्ने साल उन्होंने कोड़े दी लद्द दी सेवा की थी डूइंग द लोएस्ट यू बिकम द हाईएस्ट ही गोस फॉल्स एट द फीट उठे ओदे जाके राजे अंबरीक ने उनु उनु माफी दी थी राजा अधीर रखी दरबाशा अंडरस्टूड नाउ व्हेन हिज पावर वाज शोन एट अ मिनिमम अगेंस्ट समबडी हु इज ऑफ द अलमाइटी when you remember death i'm going to come back to the same thing when you remember death when you remember the highest you remember that you are nothing when you remember that you are nothing krodh cannot reside within you why because you recognize the bigger picture what how can you get rid of krodh do the seva understand these physical guns first do seva of the sad sangat learn about gurbani to get rid of the smell and realize that you are absolutely nothing when you realize you are nothing then krodh cannot come inside of you you have nothing to gain you have nothing to lose there is no kamnama that is the way to get rid of krodh khair there's more baniya bani de vich farman hunde he becomes pure jadon eh sariyan cheezan fas aa jandi hai sari eh cheez di prapti ho jandi hai you become pure as well i don't want to go on and on par eh sariyan cheezan pyar de vich you can read the pankhtiyan aap hi sahaj paath sare karde ho sare singh aap we can read in gurbani ourselves up on sari kirtan vich vi sare je shabd padde hain you can read on the screen as well but jehdi main cheez ya letting go of yourself i'm going to come back to where i started from man tan atma your atma is paramatma get rid of your man get rid of your tan understand what you truly are get rid of these desires move away from the world understand you what your true intention and what your true purpose of life is life is you didn't come into the world to gain anything you came to lose something you came to lose yourself you came to lose this parda once you lose it then there's no point in coming back onto this world you've met your the reason why you why you were meant to come onto this world right but instead we do the opposite we build upon it like that kata akash we just add on to that that kata and we like no no we want more mal we want to make this kata bigger we want to make it harder we want to make it nicer 
ਪਰ ਅਸਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਦੋਂ ਉਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਟੁੱਟ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਦੋਂ ਅਸਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਤੇ ਆਦੀ ਆਊਟਸਾਈਡ ਨੀ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਵਾਸ ਆਲ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਸੇਮ ਐਨਾਲੋਜੀਜ਼ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਯੂਜ਼ ਦ ਕੱਪ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਾਟਰ ਸੇਮ ਐਨਾਲੋਜੀਜ਼ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਪਾਈਸਾ ਵਾਸ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਦ ਬ੍ਰਿਕਸ ਐਨਾਲੋਜੀ ਸੇਮ ਥਿੰਗ ਆਲ ਥੀਸ ਐਨਾਲੋਜੀਜ਼ ਵੀ ਵੀ ਯੂਜ਼ ਇਨ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜ ਆਰ ਰਿਫਰਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸੂਖਮ ਤੂੰ ਸੂਖਮ ਹੋ ਅਸਤੁਲੀ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸੂਖਮ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਕਮ ਦ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਸਰੂਪ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਰਿਜ਼ਾਈਡਿੰਗ ਵਿਦਨ ਈਚ ਐਂਡ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਬੀਯੰਡ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਰੀਅਲਾਈਜ਼ ਥੈਟ ਕੈਰ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਟਿੰਗ ਕਰਨੀ ਸੀ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦੀ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਉਸਤਾਦ ਦੀ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਸਿਖਾਇਆ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਉਹ ਸਭ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਤਿੰਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਉੱਪਰ ਆ ਉਹ ਸਭ ਤੇ ਵੱਡਾ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਕਦਰ ਰੱਖੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਪਰ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਹ ਤਿੰਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਤਕਾਰ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਫਿਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਜਸਟ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਦਿਸ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਵਿਦ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਡੋਨਟ ਟੇਕ ਦਿਸ ਦ ਰੋਂਗ ਵੇ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦ ਸਪੀਚ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਵਨ ਪਰਸਨ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਕਹਿ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਰਹਿਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਨਾ ਪਰਪੱਕ ਆ ਆਮ ਸੋ strict in uh, in rat i'm such a good gursik ke ma ha ji this is like a small speech i oda ni gurdware vich keh de katha ni ma gursik ya no but he, he was trying to say what his point was like ma de tar ya nu nahi manda hai na and his main point was saying ke ma aaj tak apne maa pyo de pairi hath nahi laya right and then so somebody from the sangat koi obhi oh this cheez de vichar karda si ga okay and if you haven't even touched the feet of your mother and father how can you call yourself a good sikh tenu ta halle tak sikhi bare pata hi nahi lagya kuch baar pai gurdas ji kende maa pyo kar par hare dam bachan aunde ne we are speaking to this about paisa as well in that it's saying what is sikhi 
ਇਫ ਯੂ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਪੰਡਿਆ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨੀ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਜੋੜਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨੀ ਆ ਘਰੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਜਿਸੇ ਪੰਡਿਆ ਪੇ ਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਮੂੰਹ ਤੇ ਮਾਰਦੇ ਆ ਵਟ ਸਿਕ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ देयर ਯੂ ਆਰ ਹਿਪੋਕ੍ਰਿਟ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਊਟਸਾਈਡ ਯੂ ਸੇ ਮੈਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਆ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪੈਰ ਕੁੱਟਣੇ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਆ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਘਰੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਮਾਂ ਦਾ ਕਦੇ ਦੁੱਖ ਸੁੱਖ ਕਦੇ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਵੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂਰ ਸਿਕੀ ਸੋ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ understanding uh, apne love for mother and father ist guru vidya guru when you understand that then you can understand asal de vich sab te vadda sat guru nanak ohna da satkar kive karna pas oh bhi tu har pita tu mera ma tu mera pita tu har tu mera pita right all of those things these are analogies because why we have that love for our mother and father that's why we apply it to that that's why the analogy is used right but if we don't even give satkar to our mother father how can we say tu mera pata tu aap di maa tu tad kar di kar da ni hai na so this is the same analogy that's why um i i gave that example of uh, of the gurus hai na odan the literal word guru it's do sanskrit de shabd hai gu te ru gu da matlab anera ru da matlab prakash jehda prakash anera nu dur karda oh guru hai and the word is our guru sache paacha gets rid of that agyan which we are all living in this world the complete the dukh vichhoda gets rid of that pain te oh samay de vich sirf prakash hi prakash reh janda ha bilkul ha bilkul ek jidda ek analogy aundi hai um ek diva jag raha i think i don't know i think somebody was speaking about this i just maybe i'll clarify it as well ek diva jag raha hai in a kamre vich diva jag raha the the light the lamp is on and the lamp is looking at all the pictures in the room when the lamp is looking at all the pictures in the room it's saying wow what a beautiful picture it's saying wow what a beautiful painting but it doesn't realize that all the enjoyment that it's having it's only because it can see it's only because it's own light only because of that light but it feels to realize that it but it sticks to the beauty of the outside it doesn't realize the, the beauty of itself there is let me give you one other example what is agyan what is dobada there is a lion in a jungle he's looking into a well a small pool of water and he sees a reflection of itself so what does the lion do the lion goes i want to mere like how can you step in my territory it doesn't realize that it's its own reflection the lion goes and says get move out of my space gets what the reflection says move out of my space the lion says main tenu maar dunga the reflection says main tenu maar dunga it's conflict now on krodh aa gaya so now it's being just into that even hon koi krodh bas ho ke koi aake onu samjhaun di koshish karda there's a small little rabbit that's walking by and he says oh shera like it's just a reflection of you koi don't don't get so angry and now that lion turns around he says tu mainu kon samjha tu jyada vadda aa gaya he eats the uh, eats the rabbit right jada samjhaun wala bhi onu kha gaya now the lion is going back and is fighting this thing he says main don't main tenu kut se tu main tenu maar se tu get out of my area the reflection does not move the reflection instead says the same thing the lion jumps into the pool trying to attack that lion and in the inside of that well it dies in its own agyanta it died it killed itself it was it became completely lost if if i had listened to some advice if it realized it didn't realize that the reflection in it is itself that there was no other reflection that is what doubt is we look upon this world mai apan kene tu ho reya tu ho reya we create conflict apan nu krodh aa janda hai we look upon something else and we say hey apne falana jana oh falana jana we don't realize any it's just a reflection of herself and what is the reflection of herself andar parmatma all this is just that reflection oh hi parmatma sab sare pasi vasta hai